Welcome to Anita C 3D Art. I'm Anita, and today we are going to create this beautiful ceramic bowl with sweet cherry tomato falling into it. The tutorial is separated into two parts. Part one, which is the video you're watching, we are going to create a procedural ceramic material, and in part two, we will use rigid body to create the falling cherry tomato. Delete everything except the camera once you opened a new Blender file. Before we start, make sure your Node Wrangler and Mesh Loop tools are turned on. Add a UV sphere. You can reduce the number of vertices or keep the default setting. There won't be any differences in this tutorial. Go to Edit Mode, delete the upper half of the sphere. Then select and flatten the bottom part of the bow using the loop tool. We are going to make it look like a bow by adding Solidify and Subdivision Surface Modifier. I like the surface of the ceramic bow to be a little rough. It gives a rustic and organic sensation. If you like smooth surface, you can skip this part. To create the rough surface, add a Displace Modifier. Go to the texture and select cloud. Then go back to the modifier and adjust the strength of the roughness. Once you are satisfied with the bow, go to shader and add a new material. We are mixing in 5 layers of texture to create the ceramic paint. First is the base color of the ceramic. Add a color ramp and gradient texture. Then press Ctrl T to add both mapping and texture coordinates. Make sure you change from Generate to Object. Adjust the orientation in the mapping. Then move the white color close to the black. We are making the color on the edge of the bowl darker than the rest. Reduce the roughness to zero for the glossy look. Choose a color that you like. You can play around with different color and gradient. We are now making the first texture layer on the ceramic. Add a new color ramp and Voronoi texture node. Choose distance to edge. Press Ctrl Shift left click to see the texture. Then move the white as close as to the black. Press Ctrl T to map the texture to the object. And remember to change the texture coordinates to object. Finally, increase the scale in the Voronoi texture. Add the mixed RGB node and choose Overlay to mix the color and the first texture layer together. Duplicate both the color ramp and Voronoi texture node to make the second texture layer. Link it to the same mapping. Reduce the scale to create large paint patterns. Move the white even closer to the black to adjust the thickness of the line. Duplicate the Mix RGB node and choose Multiply to mix the two textures together. You can further adjust the specifications in the Noi texture and color RAM node if you don't slide the pattern. To make the large paint pattern look natural, add a noise texture node and adjust the specifications to your desired pattern. We are adding another paint texture to increase the richness of the ceramic paint. Duplicate the color ramp and add a new Voronoi texture node. Adjust the black and white and change the black to brown so that it makes a better blend with the color. Press Ctrl Shift and left click to see the texture. Adjust the scale, then link it to the same mapping. Duplicate the overlay mix RGB node to mix in the textures. 
you can make adjustments in the node. For the last layer of the texture, add a new color ramp and Musgrave texture node. Control Shift and left click to see the texture. Then adjust the specifications to get your desired pattern. This is the texture showing the uneven color of the ceramic paint. You can play around with the specifications and make sure you have linked it to the same mapping. Mix the final layer texture by duplicating the overlay mix RGB node. Play around with the specifications to create the final outcome that you want. And now the ceramic paint is done. Thanks for watching this video. We are making the following cherry tomato in the next video. If you followed this tutorial, feel free to share your ceramic creations and tag me on Instagram. Subscribe my channel for more tutorials. Bye for now.